Hey guys, it's Zoe, and today I will be doing a tour of my food for my hamster and my bunny. This is mostly just a mix of it. And yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so in the first drawer, we have the hamster food. Um, we basically just took it out of the bag, so there's not much left, and put it into this little switch lock thing. And then we have these um, healthy toppings, papaya, uh, gummy things. They're actually really good. Um, kind of obsessed with them. And then we just have an extra hamster tube in here that I don't really use. And that's really it. Okay, so in the second drawer, there is like food and toys and just like all the essential stuff you need. And first there is the t all natural Timothy hay, which my bunny loves. He just loves to look around and need it. Um, and then next we have this um, Little Wonders premium rabbit food. which has Timothy hay, pumpkin seeds, peas, and papaya in it. Next we have all natural, natural alfalfa cubes, which is just alfalfa hay, but in like a cube form. Next we have these yummy yogurt drops. Um, I don't really use these too often. They're kind of old. <laughs> And then we have just some more Timothy hay um, with mangoes. Um, this, there's not much left of it, but it's really good. And then last we just have a bunch of sticks. These came in a bundle of sticks, um, but now are just all their own. And then lastly, a brush, which I don't really use. Um, I actually have never used it, um, I'm not sure if I will, but yeah, that's it. Okay, and the last drawer we have here is all the, like, the cleaning products and stuff. Um, and in here we have a pan for just like scooping out all the gross bedding. Um, then we have the bedding, which i try to take out here. It's, um odor stuff with baking soda for hamsters, rats, gerbils, hamsters, guinea pigs, and all those small pets. And then we also have litter. Um, it's bunny litter because my bunny is potty trained. It's really easy if you guys want to know how to potty train them. It basically just put it, they, they like to do their business in a corner, just get a tray, a potty tray of some litter and they'll just go there. Pretty simple. Um, and then there's also critter bath powder, which is for my hamsters, which it just keep, helps them clean themselves. And then last we just have some trash bags. Pretty simple. Yeah. Okay, and so the next thing we have is the bunny food. Um, I didn't, there was no room in the box for it, so I just put it in this extra bin. Um, here's another switch lock thing. It has, just says hamster food on it, because it originally had hamster food, but then we put the bunny food in it, because I didn't need the hamster food, and yeah. And then, the other thing we have in here are the cubes, the the alfalfa cubes. Um, we just put them in a jar because they're a lot easier than having to just go into the bag and when I need to refill it, I just refill it. Okay, and for my fish, I have beta fish food. I believe you say it. I don't know how to say it. Um, it's natural colors, um, so it's actually just not colored, I don't believe. Um, and yeah, it just says beta food on it. It's this thing, it's lasted me a really long time. 
Um, I had two other fish, which I bought this for, and it's still so much in here. It lasts, like, more than a year. And then, next what we have in here is water clarifier. Um, this is just to make the water cleaner, and it helps the water. Um, I actually am bad with using these. And then next, there's... Uh, I don't even know how to... I'm pretty sure this is just to get all like the allergy and stuff out of it. And next, last, we just have rocks. We have more rocks downstairs. But um, these are just rocks I keep in here, just in case. And then just a little thing to clean stuff. And yeah, that's it. Okay, so now I'm going to go into details about the hamster cage. Um, so first we have this play puzzle playground. Um, you basically, you have to make it yourself with these and you just, it's <laughs> really, you, you get to be creative and do what you want and it's actually really fun. Okay, so next we have this silent spinner wheel. I got it in the, the large in the color purple. Um, my hand, it's, I really rec <laughs> recommend it because it is really s pretty silent and, um, it really doesn't matter what size you get, it really just depends on your hamster, but I really like it. Um, I wouldn't really suggest it for Syrians, I think it's a little too small for them, but for other s hamsters, this one works great. Okay, so next we have this disc spinner. Um, I'm not sure what it's actually called. I totally forgot, but it, it's another silent one. My hamster doesn't really use it. She just uses it to burrow under. But it's it's really actually awesome. Um, it's like a smaller version of the wheel, but they just like spin on it a different way. But it's really cool. Okay, so next I just have this container. Um, you could just buy this at your local local grocery store <laughs> um, and put your sand in it although I will get to this in a minute but there's another thing you could use sand in but I just thought it was a little too small for them to actually use and yeah okay so next we have this critter bath which is you could also use to put sand in as you can see she likes to use it just as a hut um, she's in here right now, um, sleeping. I kind of disturbed her, but, yeah. I just used it as a hut, put some bedding in it. She loves it like that, and, yeah. I recommend it. <laughs> Next, we have this wire log. Um, basically, you just can bend it into a bridge or make it flat. It's just like a chew bridge hut. It's really cool. Um, I recommend it. She uses it sometimes, but yeah. Okay, so next we have the Kate Tea Not Chewing Water Bottle. Um, I know my small pets like to chew on their water bottle, and it's just, I don't know, it's a lot easier. <laughs> yeah. And next we have the two food bowls I had. I have a small one which came with um, one of the cages and then I have the ceramic one which is just blue and they both hold food in it. Um, that's really simple um, and I put them right, right next to her water bottle. Okay so next we have this willow tunnel. Um, it's just like a hut. It doesn't fit in his cage so whenever I just let him roam around I usually put this outside, outside of his cage. Um, he chews on it. He, as you can tell, he chewed on this part, and he hasn't worked his way to this part yet. But yeah, I recommend it. It's really awesome, and yeah. Okay, so now onto the money products. First, we have this carrot chew. Um, I got this at one of the local pet stores, um, and he, as you can see, it's just like a rope carrot with. He chewed off the top, but. Pretty simple. Okay, so next we have this, the, a few more chews. We have this little wooden 
straw toy thing that he doesn't really play with, but he chews on it sometimes, I can tell, because this used to be a circle, it's now like, oops, <laughs> oh well. Um, next we have this hay, <laughs> this hay toy, um, <clears throat> it's, he doesn't use it too often, but it really depends on your bunny. And, yeah. And then they have this strong one like I was talking about. <clears throat> I think. <laughs> and, yeah. It used to be a carrot, but no. It's not. I recommend it. Okay, so next we have these three wheel, just straw wooden toys. Um, they're three connected, so you would, like, hang them. And they have a bell on them. Um. I just got this, so I can't really ask if you guys recommend it or not, because, um, well, I can't really tell you guys if I recommend it or not, because I just got it, but if your hamsters or bunnies or any of those small pets are into these kind of stuff, I would really recommend it. Okay, so next we have this red food bowl, which came with this cage. Um, it's pretty simple. It's plastic. You just it on and then there's the litter box in here um which i don't want to take out just because um it's a little bit too much work and then the hay rack with hay pretty simple i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe hope you guys enjoyed and see you next time bye and now for the bloopers now for the water bottle i use this kt um chewing resistant one um some animals, I know my small pets, like to chew on their water. Um, I don't know why, but... Looper! Okay, so now I have this KT. Now we're going to do the water bottle. I have this. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, and so next I have this. Whoa. <laughs> Kate. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so next I have the water bottle. I use this KT um, chew resistance water. It has this little water holder thing and it has a little like duck at the top to tell you how <laughs> oh <my> God, <laughs> the duck the duck <laughs> okay i'm gonna get it this time okay so <laughs> okay next with the water bottle i <laughs> why so next I have the water bottle. I use the KT non-chewing one. <laughs> I can't do it. What is my problem? Okay, so now we have the water bottle. I use the KT non-chewing one because my small pets like to chew on their water bottle. <laughs> Stop it. Okay. So next we... <laughs> Okay, so now onto the bunny products. First, I have this carrot chew. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> okay, so now onto the bunny products. First, I have. Why was my voice so high? <laughs> okay, so now onto the bunny products. <laughs> Them washing machine. 